Hey everybody, David and David here from payitforward.com and upphone.com and in this video we're going to show you how to create a website using Wix. And before you begin, just keep one simple thing in mind. What is the goal of your website? If you own a business, it's probably tied to the way that you make money. For instance, a doctor's office might want to book appointments through their website and Wix has that feature built in. Yeah, so we'd like to thank Wix for sponsoring this video so we can show you how to build your website step by step. Click the link in the description section of this video to follow along and let's get started. Let's begin by clicking create new site in the upper right hand corner of the screen. What kind of website do you want to create? Well, we are making a website for a graphic designer. So designer is the way to go. And we'll create our website using the Wix editor. Choose a template. Picking a template is super important. You want to find one that has all the fundamental features that you will need for your website. And if you pick the right template from the start, you can save yourself a lot of time down the road. Let's click on art and illustration. We did find one that we liked and it is this illustrator portfolio. And then to preview a template before you actually choose it, you can just click view, view full demo. When you found a template that you like, click edit this site in the upper right hand corner of the screen. So let's get a little bit familiar with the Wix editor real quick. At the top of the screen, you've got this bar. This is how you navigate from different pages that you wanna edit. So right now we're on the home page. You can't just come over here in the menu and click about. That's not going to work. You have to do it up here, upper left-hand corner of the screen. You would just click about, and that's how you get there. If you wanna see what your site looks like on mobile as you're editing it, again, just click this little switch to mobile phone button. Looking good. Let's go back to desktop and back to the home page. On the left, you have your editor tools. There's a whole bunch of things you can do using these tools. Pretty much everything you're going to add to your website is going to be right here. And then over on the right, we have another toolbar. We haven't really used this all that much, so we're just gonna close out of it for now. The first thing we're going to do is edit this text at the top of the screen. Our person's name is not Odam Luran. It is Arthur Bly, the art guy. So I'm just going to click on this box and edit the text. Right off the bat, I'm not a big fan of this font. Now you could edit the font right here in the text settings. However, this will only edit the font for this text box specifically. We think it's better to go through the theme manager and just universally set your fonts and your font colors. So I'm gonna click theme manager on the left, click on text, and here's that font I'm not a big fan of. So let's click on that and just find a font that works for you. I like it. And if you want to make that font consistent across the website, you can come into each of these text themes and just do the same thing, find your font, and then click apply. The next thing we're going to do is swap out these default Wix images with some original images. It's good for SEO. You don't want to have duplicate images all across your website. So let's click on this Wix Pro Gallery and click Manage Media. So we don't actually want any of these images on our website. So I'm going to click Select All, and then I'm going to click Delete. Get rid of all of them and now we're going to upload our images to the website. So I'll click add media here, image, upload media, upload from computer. And I've got some files ready to go. Select all these, open. Our images have been uploaded. Now I'm going to select them all and add them to our gallery. You can easily do this by pressing and holding on your cursor and just dragging across all of the images and then click add to page in the lower right hand corner of the screen. Now these images are in our gallery. Next, we're going to update the titles for each of these images. By default, when somebody clicks on the image on your website, they'll see the file name, which isn't ideal. Let's click on title and give it a short name that's more user friendly, that's capitalized, it's going to look good. It's also a good idea to stick a description in with your image. This is alt text. It's good for SEO, it helps search engines like Google interpret your image. And a lot of the time you can actually just make the description the same as the title as what we do for a lot of our images on our websites. So I'm just gonna go ahead and copy this and paste it in. I'm gonna do that for all of our images. Finally, click done in the lower right hand corner of the screen. And now we have our images in our gallery. You can add more than four images if you want. The next thing I wanna to do too is just update this heading. Next, let's flesh out this homepage a little bit more and add an about me section. We're going to do this with a strip. So if you come over to your editor tools on the left and click add, here you'll have strips. These are long horizontal bars that go across the full width of your website. Fortunately, the first one is about, there's also contact, welcome, services team, but we're doing an about, so let's stick with that. So I'm gonna drag this strip 
over the top because I wanted above my portfolio. Excellent. Let's swap out this image with an image of Arthur Bly. So I'm gonna click on the photo and then click change column background. Right now it's this image of a girl. Let's click image again. Wix does have a lot of media you can choose from, but we're gonna upload our own unique image. We recommend that you try to use unique images as often as you can, it's better for SEO. So I'm gonna click upload media in the upper left hand corner of the screen. Upload the photo from my computer. And then click change background. Great. So I kind of want this yellow box to be a black box to sort of match the background of this image and just have it be a one nice black strip across. But before I do that, I want to change the font text to white because we don't want black text on a black background. You can't read it. So come into these text boxes, double click, click on the A with a paint drop, it's color, and then select white. Do that for all of the text boxes. And then finally, just like we did, click into column two, click change column background, click color, and then I'm gonna select black. I've got this nice, bold, black strip across, really stands out. So I'll quickly add some about me content to this section. Right now, there's not a lot of space between our big black strip at the top and this graphic design portfolio heading right below it. We want to add a little bit of white space just to make it easier to read for people visiting our website. You can do that by clicking on the zoom out and reorder tool at the top of the screen. And then see this little horizontal blue bar, just drag that down ever so slightly, add a little bit of white space. And now we'll exit zoom out, and there it is. One last thing we want to do to the home page is come down here. We're going to add another strip for services. One of our goals is to try to find new clients for art. So let's stick some services information on the home page. I'm going to click add in the Wix editor tools, strip, and then services. I'm going to come down here and I'm going to select this one, drag and drop below our graphic design portfolio. And again, there's a little bit of a spacing issue, but you can just drag this strip and pull it down just a little bit and add some white space. We want to set up this strip to only have three boxes, and it's actually pretty intuitive. You can just click on the one that you want to get rid of and tap backspace on your PC or delete on your Mac. One thing I love about Wix is how intuitive it is to use. When I want to delete one part of this strip, it didn't break the entire strip. Sometimes other website builders, when you delete one element, the entire thing breaks. That's not the case with Wix. So quickly, I will just update this section of the website. And while I'm setting this up, I just want to interject real quick and say that you can change these vector art elements. And Wix has a great portfolio of vector art elements. So you can click Change Basic Shape. And since this is a city mural, I'm just going to tap in City and see what comes up. I like that one. Click it and click Add to Page. And you can also change the color of the vector art by clicking design. And we are going to make this black. Okay, we've got our services set up nicely. And then just come down to the footer here. And I'm just going to update this text real quickly to reflect what year it is. The social media buttons is called the social bar. You can also change the size of these social icons or remove the accounts that you don't have. Just come over here and click layout, bump up the icon size a little bit. And then if you want to remove any of these buttons, just click set social links. Let's get rid of this one. You can also click add icons if there are any other accounts that you want to add to your website. Click done when you've got all your icons in there. And we can just drag it and make sure it is centered with the page. Next, we'll navigate quickly to our about page and just make this more personalized for Arthur. Next, let's go to the contact page. So I want to swap out this image at the top. It's the stock image. Maybe we want to make it a little bit different. I'll click on the image, click change image, and I will just search Wix for. Now this image on its own doesn't really pop, but we're going to add a frame to it. So you can do that by highlighting the image and clicking design. And you've got all sorts of frames to pick from. Let's choose that one. And let's just drag to make this image slightly larger. Update this text field, say contact Arthur. 
enter your email address and telephone number, and then scroll down here to the contact form. Now by default, this contact form is pretty solid. We like the layout, but there are a few things you can do. So if you click on the form and click add new field, one of the things that we recommend doing is adding a reCAPTCHA field. This will just help you filter out bots and spammers. So if you just click on the plus next to reCAPTCHA, and I'm just gonna center this a little bit. If you're not a fan of the default form that your website comes with, you can just click on design, and there are a whole bunch of contact form designs to choose from. We like this one, we think this is set up pretty well. We've got the fundamentals in place for this website. The next thing we're gonna do is show you how to add a blog to your website. It's a great way to get organic traffic through search engines to your website, potentially attract new customers. So to do this, come over to your editor tools and click start blogging. Start a blog, add now. Choose the type of blog that's right for you. We don't have a members area for this website. If you have some sort of subscription service as part of your business, maybe that's a better fit for you. We're just gonna choose Wix, Wix blog for now. As you can see, a couple of posts got made for us. These are dummy posts. We don't want these on our website. So we're gonna click manage posts, select all, and let's move these to trash. Now let's create some blog posts of our own. Click create new posts in the upper right hand corner of the screen. All you need to do is add a title, add some text, then hit publish. I've written some blog posts ahead of time. I'm gonna copy and paste those over now. Here's my first blog post. If you come over here on the left, here's a few options you have. Click on settings. Here you can add a display cover image. We recommend getting that image up there. Right now it's just a wall of text. It's good to get some images in. It's also unique content, good for SEO. Let's add an image. Then click add to page. Publish now, author is me. Then just come down here to SEO, post URL slug. If you're in an SEO blog post, you want your keyword to appear in the slug. Title on search engines, this is your SEO title. Uh, usually it can just be the same as the blog post title. And then post description, this is your meta description. Usually about 150 characters is a good fit. Right now it's, it's much longer than that, so we're gonna shorten it up. And you get this nice little preview on Google to see what somebody would find if they saw your post in the search results. Wix makes the post URL slug from the title of your blog post, so you probably won't have to change it. You can also set categories and tags for your blog post if you want to organize them that way. Let's click on publish. There we go, we have our first blog post. I'm gonna set up a second blog post real quick. We've got our blog post. I'm gonna click the X in the upper right hand corner of the screen. You can change the layout of how your posts appear if you click on settings, layout. So you can do editorial, tiled, First one, we like the first one, we're gonna stick with that for now. You can also resize the images, change the ratio. Last thing we're gonna to touch on here is the blog menu. That's the all posts, the search, and little login guy there. Click on settings, and then click on display. Come down here to blog menu. I think that all posts is kinda of dull and it's hard to read, so I'm gonna turn that one off. And we don't really need a login or a sign up button for our blog, so let's turn that off as well. So now we just got the search bar. So let's close out of that. Our blog is looking pretty good. One last thing we wanna to add to this website is a bookings page. We know that Arthur has services that he wants people to sign up for through the website, and you can actually have people book those services through Wix. So let's come over here to bookings, click on that. Start taking bookings online. Click add now. First thing we'll do is manage the services and add some of Arthur's services to the website. So click manage services. One-on-one -on -one or multiple participants is gonna be one-on-one. -on -one. Add an image for this service, click image. I'm gonna upload a picture. It's gonna make the description make a lot more sense. Then click add to page. So what kind of service is it? Is it an appointment? Is it a class? Is it a course? It's an appointment. You're booking an appointment with Arthur to get yourself turned into a cartoon. Service details, you can set how long the session's gonna be. Staff who can provide the service. Right now it says staff member number one. Let's go ahead and rename that. So you can do a fixed price, a custom price, or no fee. Let's say it's a fixed price of $250. Clients pay the entire amount online. You can change that if you wish to entire amount in person, online or in person or online deposit and the rest in person. Let's just do entire amount online for now. Video conferencing. If you want to be able to set up a Zoom call right from your Wix website, you can do that by adding video conferencing. Save and continue. And then you just connect your Zoom account and log in. Type of location, is it gonna be at a business address, client's place, or a custom location? So for example, if it's a virtual session. Pricing plans, let clients book this service with a plan if you want. 
When you're all set, click save. In order to accept payments online and start taking bookings online, you do need a Wix premium plan. So go ahead and click upgrade. Wix has different plans at different price points, whether you're a beginner or a more experienced website owner. And all of them include secure online payments and allow you to do online bookings. So we're just gonna start with the basic plan for now. Now that we've upgraded our plan, we'll say upgrade your site. Start your premium experience, go ahead and refresh this page. Now I'm just gonna add another service real quick. One thing we want to point out real quick is that when you select no fee, the price doesn't get displayed at all on the service. That's why we recommend selecting custom price and then free if it's a free service. We've added a couple services to our website. Let's close out of the dashboard. Click the X in the upper right hand corner of the screen. And here we are. You can change the services page layout and make it look a little bit nicer. I'm going to click on the services and then click settings. Come down here to layouts. So shape, I'm going to pick square. Images already look better. You can set it to fit. Don't like that as much, we'll do a crop. Let's align the text to the center. And right now our service is a little bit off center, but you can change that. So we have two services, we set it to two cards per row. There we go. I also wanna make sure that people who come to this page get a little bit more information about the services being offered. So you can come over here to display and check the box next to service subtitle. Now that we have our services, we're going to go back to the home page and update a couple of links. Scroll down to our services strip. So for example, City Merle's, we have the Merle Consultation Service. I'm going to click Read More, and then click on this link. Click Page. Which page? Let's head right to the Book Online page. Done. We can do that for all of our services in this strip. Let's save our progress so far. Whenever you make a lot of website updates, it's a good idea to make sure it looks good on both desktop and mobile. You can do that on Wix by clicking on the phone in the toolbar at the top of the screen. And here is what our website looks like on mobile. Not bad. So I'm gonna switch back to desktop and I'm going to click save. We've got the fundamentals of our website set up and you can always come back here and tinker a little bit and make it look exactly how you want it to. We're going to go back to the dashboard and set up the domain that came with our one year plan. Domains are included with one year, two year, and three year Wix premium plans. So go up to settings at the top of the screen and then go down to my dashboard. And let's set up your site. Let's click connect a domain, get a domain. Click buy a new domain. Your voucher will get applied when you check out. Usually when you pick a domain name, you want it to be the name of your business, but since this is for a person, let's just search for Arthur Bly. You don't have to know exactly what your domain name is going to be before you do it. Wow. ArthurBly.com is available. Okay, if that happens, get it. When you see this get a personalized mailbox offer, it actually is a really good deal because it is a G Suite email account, which is by Google. If you're familiar with Gmail, this is exactly the same thing, except it is branded with your domain name. So click buy a mailbox if that's something you want to do. We have our domain. Last thing we need to do is actually publish the website and get it out there. So let's go to the site editor. When you're ready, click publish in the upper right hand corner of the screen to make your site go live. Congratulations, your Wix website is complete. One of the things that I love about Wix is that you don't have to use your computer every time you want to update your website. Instead, you can download the Wix app for your iPhone or Android smartphone and update your website on the go. Check back soon to watch our video that's all about Wix SEO and how they've leapfrogged the competition in recent years. And thanks for watching this video. Give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed. Leave a comment down below with any other questions and don't forget to subscribe to this channel for more great videos about Wix.